Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a ball that rolls in slow motion. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I have here two balls of equal weight and volume. I'm gonna set them on this ramp here and watch what happens. Go. One of them's a slow rolling ball and the other one rolls fast. This is so cool. It just inches down ever so slowly. The steeper it is, the faster it rolls, just like a normal ball, but it's still way slower rolling than it should be. So what could possibly cause a ball to roll slower than it should? You can see how this one just slowly inches along no matter what type of terrain I put it on. Here's a little bit steeper terrain, but a little bit more bumpy. It rolls like a normal ball would if it were only a very slight decline. But you can see this isn't a very slight decline because this other ball rolls just fine. So I can assure you the mechanism that's slowing this down has nothing to do with magnets or magnetism at all. So this type of ball is called a snail ball. Let me show you how I made it. I started off by cutting open a hollow sphere and then putting a heavy metal sphere inside of it. And then what you do is you fill that with molasses. So what this does is it makes it so that the center of mass of the ball is very low to the ground. So that the only way it can roll is if the inner ball rolls. But the only way the inner ball can roll is if it's rolling through the molasses. So the molasses has a very high viscosity, so it slows down the rolling of the inner ball. So because of the low center of gravity, it's almost as if we're no longer worried about the rolling of the bigger ball, but the thing that's dominating is the rolling of the smaller ball inside of it because it's much heavier. You can actually do this without the inner ball, but you just need to fill it up about halfway with molasses. And then that still lowers the overall gravitational constant to be on the bottom half, but as it rolls, it has to roll the molasses along with it. So it has to drag through the molasses as it rolls. So I have a jar completely filled with molasses. You can see that when I roll it, it rolls fast. But if I just empty out half of it now, so it's only half full, so now the center of gravity is gonna to be towards the bottom. And in order for it to stay on the bottom, instead of lifting up the center of gravity, it's just gonna drag through the molasses and that's gonna slow it down. So you can see by filling it up only halfway, it now rolls very slow. And before we end, I'd like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace helps you connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members-only content. You can manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insight all in one easy-to-use platform. Squarespace will even help you create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. You can use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. Also, you can extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These are new third-party tools that can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. You can also display posts from your social profiles on your website and can automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash action lab to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.